Magnus starts the game with e4, Meyer plays e6, d4, d5, we are seeing the French defense. Magnus protects the pawn with knight to c3 and now we see d takes e4, the Rubinstein variation and knight takes e4. Meyer plays knight to d7 and Magnus plays c3, fortifying his center. Meyer plays knight g to f6, attacking white's knight. Magnus defends it with bishop to d3. Knight takes knight, bishop takes knight, knight to f6, attacking the centralized bishop and bishop moves to c2 in order to maintain control on this strong diagonal over here. Also, it's an open position, so Magnus is not very keen to give up his bishop for a knight. Meyer challenges the center with c5 and Magnus develops and protects the center with knight to c3. Pawn takes pawn, knight takes pawn, bishop to c5 attacking the knight and Magnus castles over here. Meyer exchanges knight for a bishop and plays b6 in order to fianchetto his light squared bishop on this strong diagonal. Magnus plays queen to d3 developing his piece and also forming a battery on this diagonal putting a lot of pressure on this h7 pawn. Meyer fianchettos his bishop and now Magnus plays bishop a4 check. It's a very good move and Meyer responds with king to f8. Now I know you must be wondering why did Meyer move his king while he could easily block the check with his knight. Well, if he does so, then that would be a mistake because Magnus can now play d5, attacking this pawn in order to open up this center so that the rook can come over here and attack the opponent's king. If black makes a mistake of capturing the pawn with his pawn, then Magnus can double up the pressure on this knight with the move queen to f5. If bishop protects the knight, then Magnus can simply win a piece here by attacking the defender of this knight. So Magnus can now play bishop to g5 attacking the queen, queen moves to c7 and now rook a to c7 attacking the queen one more time, queen moves to b7 and now comes the brilliant part of this variation and that is rook takes bishop check. If rook takes rook, then bishop takes d7 check for king black's pieces. Queen takes bishop and now rook to e1 check, king has to move to f8 and now the queen is gone. And now from here onwards, it's a mate in 4. If you can see the mating moves, then let me know your answers in the comments box below. So let's go back. So black cannot make the mistake of capturing this pawn with his pawn. But what if he captures this pawn with his bishop? So if bishop takes pawn, then Magnus can now play queen to g3, attacking the weak g7 pawn. If king castles, then bishop h6, threatening a checkmate over here. Black is forced to play g6 and now bishop takes rook, knight takes bishop, simply wins material for white and gives white a lot of advantage. So let's go back. Therefore, blocking this check with the knight is not at all a good idea and that is why in the game, Meyer played king to f8. Magnus develops his other bishop. This bishop can now come to any one of these squares and take control of these good diagonals on the board. Meyer plays h5 because since his king is badly stuck over here, he's probably planning to do a rook uplift and get his rook over here in order to put more pressure on this g2 pawn. Magnus plays rook a to c1, taking control of this open c file. Meyer plays h4, trying to advance his pawn to the h3 square and probably disrupt white's strong pawn structure on the king side. Magnus immediately stops this with h3. Meyer plays queen to d6 in order to get his rook over here and put a lot of pressure on this pawn over here. Magnus plays bishop to d1, rook to d8. A lot of pressure is being put on this pawn. Magnus activates his other rook and black here plays king to g8. Now I know you must be thinking why not just capture this free pawn over here. Well, if black captures the pawn, then white can simply play queen to a3 check, king moves to g8 and now bishop to e3, attacking the queen and getting the bishop to a very good square, queen moves to d7 and now bishop e2 gives a very good game to white because of its strong active pieces on the board. As you can see, all of these pieces are enjoying a very good square and very good control on the chessboard. So therefore, Meyer did not take this free pawn and instead played king to g8. Magnus plays bishop to e3 and now Meyer attacks the bishop. Magnus plays queen to d2. Knight takes bishop. Pawn takes knight. And now finally rook to h6. Preparing to come on the g6 square and put a lot of pressure on this g2 pawn. Magnus realizes this threat and that's why he plays rook to f1, rook to g6 and now bishop to g4, blocking this attack of the rook. Meyer attacks the bishop with f5 and now bishop to f3. Bishop takes bishop, rook takes bishop and now rook to g3, offering to exchange rooks. But Magnus doesn't want to capture this rook and gets black spawn over here where it will be controlling these two critical squares in front of the king because that would be a very odd position to deal with. And therefore, Magnus plays queen to f2 in order to protect this rook. Meyer plays e5, it's not a good move, attacking the center. And Magnus plays rook takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, queen takes pawn and now rook to f8 check for king black's pieces. 
Black cannot capture the rook, otherwise he loses his queen. Therefore, Meyer moved the king to h7, and now Magnus now exchanged rooks and then played queen f5 check. Black blocks the check with g6, and now queen f4, eyeing this weak pawn over here. Rook d3, forming a battery on this d file, but Magnus counterattacks with rook c7 check. Black blocks the check, and now rook takes rook, queen takes rook, queen takes h4 check. Magnus is up a pawn, king moves to g7, queen f4, queen d5, attacking the pawn, pawn moves to a3, b5. Queen c7 check, forking black's pieces, king moves to h6, queen takes pawn, Magnus is up now 2 pawns, but black also has some counterplay over here because he can now play queen d1 check, king moves to h2, queen d6 check, king h1, queen d2 attacking the pawn, pawn moves to b4, queen c1 check, and now white queen interposes, queen takes pawn, queen to e1, protecting this pawn over here, and now queen moves to d3, queen h4 check, king g7, queen e7 check, king h6, king h2, queen d4, attacking the pawn, h4, Magnus says that hey if you want to take this pawn you can, but then I'm gonna counter attack your king and probably capture this pawn over here. So Meyer understands this and therefore plays queen f4 check. King moves to h3, queen f5 check, king to g3 and now queen d5 and now Magnus here offers a trade of queens. But Meyer refuses the trade of queens and plays queen to d3 check. Now if you are thinking that why not just exchange queens because if Meyer does that then he would be quickly losing the game to pawn takes queen, b4, c6, b3, c7, b2 and now the pawn queens, the other pawn queens but now queen h8 would be a checkmate and Magnus would have won this game. That is why Meyer did not go for this queen exchange over here and instead played queen to d3, checking the white's king. King moves to h2 and now queen to e4. Magnus plays queen g5 check. King moves to h7 and now h5. Look how slowly these pawns are moving forward in black's territory one by one and Magnus is trying to put a lot of pressure on the black's king. Queen takes pawn. Queen takes g6 check. King moves to h8. Queen f6 check. King h7 and now a series of check. Queen e6 check, king moves to h7, queen f7 check, king moves to h8, queen f6 check, king h7, and now king moves to h3. Magnus is thinking of pushing his other pawn forward in order to create more pressure on black's king. Queen to e4, getting out of this way of this passed pawn, and also protecting this diagonal from any kind of white's attack. Magnus plays g4, queen e3 check, king moves, and now queen e2 check, king moves, and queen e1 check, queen interposes, and now queen c3 check, king to h4, and look how slowly both these pawns have moved forward. The king has also moved forward in all these series of check and white is slowly progressing in the game. Black plays b4 trying to push his own pass pawn and promote it into a queen and Magnus plays queen f7 check, king h8. White's king is far more active than black's king. Black's king is stuck in the corner of the board and it's not a nice thing for black. Queen e8 check, king g7, queen e7 check, king h8, h6, trying to push his pawn one step further up the board. Black pushes his own passed pawn, king h5, b2, and now queen e8 check, king moves to h7, queen e4 check, king moves to h8. Oh, and that was a mistake because that allows white to play king to g6, taking away all these three squares and threatening to checkmate either on the e8 square or on the a8 square. Black needs to stop this checkmate so he he is forced to promote his pawn, pinning white's queen. And now queen takes bishop. And now queen c6 check. King to g5, queen c5 check, queen f5. And now queen e3 check. And that was another mistake. Why? Because white can block the check with queen to f4. And now queen c5 check. And king can now move to g6. And here is the point that black resigned in the game. Because now there is no way that black can check the white king. If he comes on any of these three squares, obviously the queen will get captured. If the queen comes over here, then it will get captured by the queen. And if the queen comes on these two squares in order to check the white king, then that check can easily be blocked by this queen with a counter check to the black's king. So so black queen would be forced to capture this queen and after king captures queen, these connected pass pawns are too strong and white can easily win this game. So let's go back. So instead of checking the white king here, what could have black done to save his game? Well, a better move over here was moving the queen to c7. Because after queen c7, black would be able to have some control over these squares and would have been able to assist his king to give a fight against white's army. But black made the mistake of playing queen to e3 check and that move made him lose the game. So now since there is no way of saving this game over here, George Meyer resigned at this point of time. This game was played in the year 2022 in the chess Olympiad. If you enjoyed watching this game, then do like this video and subscribe 
बैक टू माई चैनल